The Eastern Conference Finals, Game 4. The Boston Celtics have a commanding 3-0 series lead. Is it time for their dreams to be realized? For their thirst to be quenched? Find out tonight as they do battle against the Indiana Pacers. Will round three end in an upset of epic proportions? Coming right up. Welcome back to the NBA playoffs on 2K Sports. The battle for the East has been a runaway 3-0 series, but that could all change tonight in Game 4. We'll watch the Indiana Pacers in this one as they go up against the Boston Celtics. Brian Anderson here with me, Grant Hill and Richard Jefferson. Joining us courtside is Allie LaForce. Looking at the starting five for the Boston Celtics. White and Brown are the two and the three. Al Horford out there with Jason Tatum. And it's Holiday in at the point guard position. And for Indiana, Pascal Siakam out there with Benedict Matherin. Then there's Miles Turner. Then there's C.J. McConnell. And it's Nimhard in at the two. You look at Indiana, and they're looking at a quick exit from the conference finals if they can't get the job done tonight. I mean, you're right, B.A. This game tells you a lot about a team's character. Faced with almost an impossible job, do they pack up and head home? Motivation's an issue when your back is against the wall. And so off the tip, it's Boston. Pass to White. Back to Holiday. Outside Tatum. The three. Knocks down the long J. Well, Tatum is the obvious option for the catch and shoot. He's such an efficient scorer. I got him. See Occam against Tatum. Now Turner. Now here's McConnell. Turner, a screen on Holiday. Five on the clock. Kept alive. See Occam. And the layup is good. A fantastic athlete. You love the effort Siakam shows on the glass to keep plays going. Holiday passes to White. It's Brown on the wing. There's the drive. And the jam by Brown. He flashes to the rim and is met with no resistance. A little over a minute gone here in the first quarter. Holiday against McConnell. Here's Turner. That one's good on the assist from McConnell. And shots like this give Turner a confidence boost. Feeling like he can score on anyone down there. And Tatum, here we go. Ooh, Tatum slams it home. A savage reverse jam. That takes great body control. No question. He was making a statement right there, man. Outside Matherin. Back to McConnell. Pass to Siakam. From deep. Holiday grabs the miss. Good job by the D to stay with him and make that a tough three. Brown looking around. Unloads from 13. And it's Boston scoring again. Wow, now this is how you want to start your games. Flawless shooting so far. McConnell against Holiday. Up top, Turner. McConnell against Holiday. Shot clock at six. For three, Matherin drains the triple. He's consistent from out there, especially when you give him that kind of room. For Boston, they've gone 4-4 four four from the floor. Perfect start. Holiday finds Tatum. Nails it from beyond the arc. Tatum's got eight points. This is what great scorers do. Tatum rises to the three-point challenge. McConnell passes to Demart. Back to McConnell. Fires for three. Rebound Boston. White on the wing. Outside Holiday. Outside Brown. Pass to Tatum. A little mid range shot is up. Yep, that one goes. 10 points for him. <laughs> Their offense looking like a well oiled machine. Indiana trailing here. McConnell outside. Siakam, the pass to Turner. 
Siakam, no good. And it's Tatum with the ball for the Celtics. Here's Holiday. And one. Kick out to Brown. Tatum with a screen. Brown drives in. Oh, it's stolen by Siakam. Leaps for it. And out of bounds. Boston timeout, will have timeout. it. Time called here. The Celtics decide to talk Fire. it over. So it's both teams making substitutions here. 102 left in the first. It's Brown on the wing. Driving to the basket. Oh, and a dunk by Brown. Was it just me or was there a little bit extra on that slam by Brown? On the AT&T 5G slam cam, good looks by our terrific camera crew. The Pacers have gone just three for seven here at the start. Pass to Turner, looking to win the run. And that one makes him two for two. He's in his rhythm. Nah, he's just ridiculous. He's just an absolute surgeon when he has the ball. This man is surgical. There is no way to slow him down when he wants to score. Now here's Brown. He has six. And some changes here for the Pacers. Siakam comes in for Turner. And McDermott subbed in for Matherin. Here's Brown. Oh, can't finish the one-handed jam. Why? Just why? Come on, man. Save that one for practice. Siakam, no good. See, what a rough quarter for him. Nothing seemingly going his way. Pass to Hauser. Beyond the arc. And a great assist by Brown as that one goes in. Proving he's more than just a go-to scorer. Brown also loves swinging the ball to open teammates. Here's Siakam. Can't hit the free throw line jumper. That was a good look for him from mid-range, but just couldn't make the defense pay. And that concludes the first quarter of play. Celtics out in front, leading by nine. Let's take a quick break, and then it's on to the second quarter after this. And welcome back to the Eastern Conference Finals presented by 2K Sports. And a chance for a moment to check out the scoring breakdown for the Celtics. Well, so far, their long-range shooting has been the story, doing damage from deep. Another thing that's gone well for them is the mid-range jumper. <laughs> it's been falling with ease so far. We've got Neesmith topping out there with Pascal Siakam. Then it's Smith. And it's Shepard in at point. That's the five for the Pacers. Now here's Siakam. Pass to Shepard. Toppin outside. This one for three. Bowser grabs the board. And he might have thrown himself off when he saw how much space he had from three. Pritchard, the pass to Tatum. A chance to extend the lead to double digits, but it's no good. Toppin outside from behind the arc. Rebounded by the Celtics. The shake. Here's Cornette. It's Mikhailuk on the wing. Pass to Pritchard. The three. Gets the three to fall. Pritchard's got his first three points of the game. When he gets a quality look like this at the perimeter, he can almost be automatic. To the paint. Here's Toppin. Hauser grabs the board. A rare miss for him at point-blank range. That's one he'd like to have back. Tatum. Showing off the strength. And shooting-wise, he's been fantastic. Helping to build this lead. Springer, he's checked in for Boston. And that one falls for Tatum. We talk about Tatum's offense, and for good reason. But his play on the defensive end is really valuable for this team. Pass to Neesmith. Top it against Tatum. Top it inside. He can't hit that time. Tatum with some nice D. I mean, he's yet to make a shot this quarter. At some point, you got to look for other ways to impact the game. 
They're really dictating the tempo on both ends of the court. You love it. And guys, to go on a big run, get some breathing space, it has to be a great play on each end. Now here's McConnell, still without a bucket. Neesmith passes to Toppin. Here's Nimhart, clock at six. There's a screen by Toppin. Siakam for three, fires in the triple. Yeah, how about Siakam right there, coming right back and sinking the three? Tatum passes to Pritchard. That falls. Nice feed that time from Tatum. Pritchard's got eight. And what's working here? Each guy is willing to make the next pass. Toppin outside. Go over it. Pass to Siakam. Takes the three. Rebounded by Springer. If they want to come back, he needs to be better. Here's Tatum. And finished by Tatum. Wow. One of the craziest dunks we've seen, Tatum with the bounce. Time called here. Indiana decides to talk it over. Guard it. And some changes here for the Pacers. Turner, he's checked in for Siakam. And Benedict Matherin subbed in for Neesmith. So Boston going with almost an entire new group here. Al Horford's checked in for Cornette. Brown comes in for Hauser. White, he's checked in for Springer. And Holiday subbed in for Pritchard. Now here's Matherin. Toppin outside. Indiana needs to get a shot off. Here's Nimhart. Indiana again missing. And here are the Celtics. They're on a 13-3 run. Outside Holiday. Takes a three. Sinks the tray. Their offense is looking like a well-oiled machine. Getting any look they want. Right about that. Seems like they haven't missed. Here's Nimhart. No points yet. McConnell outside. Pass to Nimhart. Toppin, a screen on White. Toppin outside. From outside the arc. The rebound, Celtics. Credit to him for trying to get that three right back. Missed the shot, but that's a fighter's mentality. This defense is getting spaced out. Three of the last five buckets have time come out, from way out. beyond the arc. Now a timeout called by Indiana. Started. Pascal Siakam, he's checked in for Toppin. Siakam, the pass to Matherin. 51 seconds left to play in the half. Five to shoot. The three-pointer off the mark. Yeah, they just can't seem to end the drought no matter where they shoot it from. This is snowballing for them. They've got to get a good look next time down. <laughs> leaving absolutely nothing on the table right now. Their focus and execution has been outstanding. It's caused them to pull away a bit. Let's see if they can keep the train on the tracks. And it's the Pacers with the ball. Following the bucket by the Celtics. And he makes it. Matherin's got his second basket on the night. <laughs> Once he breaks out the crossover, you just know something special is about to happen. White for three. That one falls. Nice feed that time from Holiday. Holiday's got his fourth assist with that last one. Pass to McConnell. And he lobs it up. It's stolen by Tatum. And so it's Jason Tatum making highlights for Boston. Eight points in the quarter, showing how effective he can be. Well, now we have some time to check in with Allie LaForce. Allie. Thanks so much, Rick. What did you think of your team's offensive execution in the first half? We got to get it moving more. We got to get it driven more. Uh, they're very physical. Uh, you're trying to run plays. They blow all that stuff up. And so bottom line with our offense, we got to give some more stops. That'll help our offense. Defense leads to offense. Thanks, Coach. Appreciate it, Allie. And we'll be coming right back after this break. Ready for the third quarter.
And we thank you for joining this postseason broadcast. And it's been an outstanding first half for the Boston Celtics. You could just look at the rebounding differential. These guys are giving everything that they have. They are taking no possessions off, which is rare these days. We got to thought they were the better club coming in. They certainly proved that, at least so far. Looking at this series for the Indiana Pacers, things not looking great, trailing big. How do they rally back? Oh, you're asking me? I don't know. I'll give it to Coach Kenny over there. Who you got, Jet? Well, this is where pride has to kick in. Down in the... And that's it for halftime. Thank you. And we welcome you back to Game 4, folks. Thanks for joining us. And you know, Jason Tatum, he's been really making it happen, guys. They've leaned on him to provide a lot of offense, and that's how he likes it. He always wants to be a go-to guy for them. I'm sure he'll be calling for the ball even more in this half. On the court right now for the Celtics. White and Brown are the two and the three. Jason Tatum out there with Al Horford. And it's Holiday in at the one. Nice shot by Turner. Turner's got seven points in the game. Being productive, Turner is a constant offensive threat. Here's Brown. And it's Boston scoring again. And just totally relentless, only increasing the intensity level. Always plays hard until the final whistle, no matter what the situation is. Now here's McConnell. No made baskets yet. Siakam, no good. The defense just giving him the easy look there. He's not going to miss that. Brown, another one falls for Boston. Brown showing the quick release with the pull up there. Well, Indiana shooting just around 32% from the field. To the middle. Here's Turner. And then Turner with the dunk. That is a perfect placement of that dime. Just guided it right to him. Holiday against McConnell. Outside, Brown drives to the hoop, and he banks in the layup. Brown's got six here in the quarter. Three straight buckets to start the half. This is how they wanted to come out and execute. And stolen by Holiday. Let's go with a three. Counted from distance. From year to year, Holiday is a little inconsistent from three, but the defense has to respect his shot. Here's Nimhart. He's guarded by White. And the call will be against Derek White. That's his first foul of the game. And now around two minutes gone by in this half. Here's Matherin. Yes, and it's McConnell with the assist that time. McConnell's got three assists tonight. A nice start to the second half. They've made three out of their first four shots coming out of the break. Now here's Holiday. Six points for him. Outside Tatum. Jacks up a three. That one falls. Eight of ten and scoring with confidence. And right now, that's five buckets in a row. Looking like a well-oiled machine coming out of the break. Outside Matherin. To the right side. Brown with the steal. And here we go. The Celtics on the run. Basket's good. Horford's gotten his first basket of the night. That's been typical of their performance today. They're sharing the ball and creating good shots. And Drew Holiday gets the whistle that time. That's his first foul of the game. The Pacers making a switch here. Toppin's checked in. Here's McConnell. Yet to see a basket. Second half of play, and we're three minutes into the third here. Pass to Matherin. Launches it. Hauser grabs the board. And the defense got away with one there. I mean, that's a shot he typically makes. Fires the three. And the Celtics another three. Credit them for making the right halftime adjustments. Oh, yeah, I can't agree more. They haven't missed. McConnell right side. Here he goes. Uses the glass on the layup. McConnell's got his first points of the game. Boston has gotten all three from downtown so far in the second half. Here's Pritchard. 
Pass to Mikhailuk. Back to Pritchard. Here's Brissett. It's Mikhailuk on the wing. Six to shoot. Here's Hauser. Again, Boston. And from the mid-range area, they've been the more effective team. For Indiana, they've gone four of six from the floor in this third quarter. They need something good to happen here. Yeah, they've gone way too long without a score. Pass to Toppin. Back to McConnell. Six on the shot clock. Turner with it. Outside Matherin. A shot from the high post. That one rolls around and rims out. Here's the break. Here's Mikhailuk. And he floats it in for the easy two. Credit the sweet setup on that one. Since halftime, they have been efficient and effective, making Coach very happy. Well, I credit some of that to their communication out on the floor. They are attacking as a unit. Now here's McConnell. Now five seconds separating the shot clock and the game clock. Matherin. Ooh, pops the J after a cagey pass fake. Matherin's got nine. It's just one of those nights where he's been very good, but his team is losing, and that's just an odd feeling. Pass to Mikhailuk. Back to Pritchard. Good if it goes. Oh, at the buzzer! Wow! I didn't think he was going to get it off in time. Oh, wow. Talk about being poised under pressure. Big time shot from him there. And so it's Boston making this game a no contest. They pour. And while we have a chance, let's go to our State Farm assist of the game. And just a selfless decision from your two guard, showing his ability to get his teammates good looks. We talk a lot about playing for one another. Right there with the pass, he's demonstrated what it means to do exactly this. And with the fourth quarter upon us, time is running out for this game to become competitive. We've got Toppin. Jalen Smith is out there with Pascal Siakam. Then it's Neesmith, and it's Shepard in at the point. So that's the group out there for Indiana. Here's Shepard. Inside, here's Toppin. Rebound Boston. Holiday's got four rebounds now. Here's Brown, the kick to Tatum. Back to Brown. There's the triple. And Tatum, the bucket on the assist by Brown. Tatum's got 24. Lackluster defense, showing no desire to chase shooters off that line. Pass to Neesmith. Wing shot on the way. Tatum pulls it in. Tatum's got a six rebound on the night. They've shown the power inside. Their rebounding effort has been sensational. Outside Holiday. Back to Brown. Count that one. He's eight for ten from the field now. And so far, Brown has been dialed in and is showing no signs of letting up. It's stolen by Tatum. All by himself. And the jam by Brown. And that's what happens when you don't take care of the ball. Hey, that makes the turnover hurt even more. We know mistakes lead to breaks. That's just textbook right there. Here's Shepard. Indiana again missing. The Celtics have gone three of four in the fourth and looking confident on offense. Back to Tatum. Oh, it's his 10th basket on 12 tries. You got to appreciate the efficiency here. And guys, the way this defense is getting manhandled down low, you have to wonder if they're at 100% right now. Now here's Siakam. And the shot goes in. Oh, what a crafty move, causing the defender to pause right there. Down low. Here's Horford. And Horford powers it home. Intelligent play by Tatum, moving the ball to get an open shot. For Indiana, they've gone one of four since the fourth quarter began. They're searching for a way to score. Yeah, buckets have been very tough to come by. Tatum against Siakam. Toppin, left side. Shot clock at six. Off target from three-point range. Pass to Tatum. 
And we're about three minutes into the fourth now. Oh, bricks the dunk off the deceptive pump fake. Here's Shepard. He buries it from three. Shepard's gotten himself on the board with a three there. Too much space on the perimeter. There needs to be a little more energy from the defense. Oh, and a dunk by Brown. Muscling that one in. JB is a strong individual. Impressive looks on the AT&T 5G Slam Cam. One forty-six left in the fourth. Pass to Smith. Here's Shepard. Puts up a three. Orford pulls it in. Tatum with it. Siakam covering. Tatum gets the bucket. Tatum's got ten points in just the second half. And there aren't many feelings like this in sports. Knowing you've earned a trip to the NBA Finals, a special moment for the Celtics. Who's got over and it was a big-time performance across the board. They looked like they were having fun out there, Grant. <laughs> yeah, B.A., it was almost like watching a cat play with a mouse. I mean, they did pretty much anything they wanted to do out there today. Boy, what an impressive showing from them here in these conference finals. Right from the jump, they look like the more dominant and confident team, and they just steamrolled their way to a sweep in this one. And there was never any doubt who the best team in this series was. They didn't just beat their opponent, they decimated them, not even allowing them to win one game in this series. They have to feel good about themselves heading into the NBA Finals. And what a huge performance it was for Jason Tatum. A quality offensive outing. When you get it going like he did, I'll tell you, it's one of the best feelings in basketball. And so it's Tatum who brings up the ball for the Celtics. They've allowed just seven points here in the fourth. Chalk up two there. Tatum's got 32 points in the game. Stepping up and nailing an important shot to put this away. And that score probably slams the door for any would-be comebacks. And look, they put this one to bed. I mean, I'm just not sure what he was thinking right there. I mean, he needs to get his head in the game. So Boston ends up going with a new group. Siakam, that's good. The more Siakam uses a three-point shot, the more it helps his game. It makes him the all-around player he needs to be. Here's Pritchard. 15 seconds left in the game. Clock at six. And they'll turn it over. Couldn't get the shot off. A shot clock violation. And the Boston Celtics will move on. And you can see it on their faces. It's not just happiness, but it's the pure excitement and joy to be heading to the NBA Finals. And it's been exciting for us to watch their progress throughout the season, Grant. And now they're so close, B.A., to completing their mission, it's easy to look ahead. But winning the East is such a major accomplishment in and of itself. You hope they'll take the time to cherish this moment. It doesn't come around every year. Ah, but the turnaround is quick. With the finals, they'll be here before they know it. And so this one is in the books. We hope you've enjoyed being with us for the Eastern Conference Finals. For the entire 2K Sports crew, this is Brian Anderson saying thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.